Hey everyone, I'm Jessica from JewelryTutorialHQ.com and Bespangled Beads on Etsy. Welcome back to my studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to cut up an old leather bag or purse to salvage the leather to use for making jewelry. Now I've got a ton of fun projects planned with this leather. I want to make some bracelets and I will show you that in another video. Today we're just going to focus on cutting up this bag and getting as much leather as we can from it. All you need for this project is the bag that you would like to cut up, a craft knife with a new sharp blade or a stitch ripper, a work surface that's safe for cutting on, and optional, a metal edged ruler. So I'm going to start by just choosing a seam and using my craft knife to insert the blade between the two pieces of leather where the stitches are and just cut carefully the stitches between the leather to separate them. And you'll notice the angle of my knife, I'm moving the blade along the leather, not perpendicular to it, because I don't actually want to cut through the leather at this point. So I'm just gonna continue ripping the seam. You can also use a stitch ripper for this. And then I'm going to cut the flap away from the rest of the bag, and that will be my first piece of leather. Now you should be able to pull the thread easily from around the edges. And I'm just gonna move on to the next piece where the handle is held onto the bag. Now it looks like this piece is made of vinyl. So that's just gonna pull apart easily and we don't need to keep that, that's trash. Just going to continue on the other side of the bag and then separate it from the lining. Disconnect that flap from where the handle attaches on the other side and discard that piece of vinyl. And continue separating this large piece of leather. So now I've got two nice sides of leather and we're going to take apart this bottom part of the bag. Using the same technique, just ripping the stitches gently between the two pieces of leather. And obviously, every bag is different, but the technique's going to be pretty much the same for any stitched leather bag. This is the rib at the bottom of the middle of the bag. I'm just going to separate that, and that's probably made of vinyl, so that's trash too. Just continue on separating all of the elements where you find a seam until you're satisfied with the leather that you have. I'm going to cut off the handle. I think I'm going to leave this piece of leather stitched intact. And I'm going to save these interesting leather rings and set those aside. Those might be fun to use in a project somehow. Some bags might have more exciting hardware than this one, so you might want to save buckles and anything that, that you think you might be able to use later. Now that we're finished separating all the elements, we're left with several nice scraps of soft, supple leather that can be cut using a ruler with your craft knife to make nice, straight-edged pieces that you can use for making bracelets or anything else that you can imagine. In my next video, I'll show you how to make this cool magic braided leather bracelet using the leather that we just salvaged from that bag. I'll link to that project here when it's ready, or you can always subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this project, and I hope you might take a minute and visit me over at JewelryTutorialHQ.com. If you're not already watching this video there, of course, you'll find tons of fun, free jewelry tutorials and resources. And if you'd like to visit my shop, you can find it at BespangledBeads.Etsy.com. I'll see you next time.